and now let me give you the principles of humanistic Judaism as succinctly as I can. First, and I didn't originate this idea, Judaism is the culture, not the religion. The word Judaism is like the word Hellenism also. All right? Judaism is the culture of the Jewish people. It's a culture. And in fact, it was at one time dominated by the clergy, but it has elements that go beyond religion. It has music and dance and food, do you understand? And ethical values that are independent of divine, uh, divine authority and a history and memories. So, it's a culture. Why do I have to throw away the culture if I have no interest in what is narrowly called the religion? Huh? So, the second thing, the second statement was that my experience as a Jew made me realize that Jewish history, indeed, was a testimony to humanism. The last conclusion you would come watching the history of the Jews, like watching the history of the blacks, is that there is a kind and loving administration. It's the last conclusion you would come to. In fact, my experience as a Jew always um, led me to feel that indeed, that wasn't the case. There were two characteristics of Jewish culture that I loved. And they all, to some degree, came from uh, the negative experiences that Jews had in their historical experience. I loved it certainly far more than praying, which was intolerable. Ambition. In the Talmud it says, every man should be content with his lot. Well, Jews aren't. <laughs> and the reason they're not is they can't trust the administration. Do you understand that? <laughs> if they had taken all the old principles like that, they would never have made it to Harvard. All right. <laughs> and uh, the second thing was Jewish humor. A Jewish humor is expressed in the Shalom Aleichem story, where Tevya, you know, the in, in Fiddler on the Roof, says to God, I want to thank you for making us the chosen people, but would you mind choosing somebody else for a chance? <laughs> now, that's a Jewish joke. No, no, it is. Now, that's the culture. There's an underground culture, do you understand, that isn't expressed in the prayer book. It was always a part of what I call the Jewish world, and it was the part that I love that reinforced the humanism. So, the third thing is, humanism is enhanced. My humanism is enhanced by my contact with my family and historic culture. It's not undermined, it is what? It's something additional that is enhanced, and one of the things it gives me. Salman Rushdie said, when he, or was it, or was it Steven Pinker, I think, who, who said, who said the chess club? Did you say chess club, joining a humanist association? Yeah, right, right Pinker, right. So, uh, joining the humanist organization was like joining the chess club because there's no emotional content. There's no, there's no connection to family, to, do you understand? Uh, to history, to roots, to whatever. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ideological organization that meets somewhere, all right? So, what it did was it enriched my humanism. And in fact, that was my message, and out of it, other people who certainly couldn't connect simply to joining a militant humanist organization came to humanist, uh, to humanistic Judaism. It was a vehicle for doing that. And in fact, that's what I mean. They were not hostile, they were what? Secularized. So I didn't come to them with the message of the wounded. I came to them talking about my pleasure, do you understand? In my culture and in, and in humanism as a philosophy of life, I refused to say what I did not believe, which is the next principle. We will not do the tactic of 
traditional liberal religion, which is to take old words and make them mean what they what? They don't mean. We say it loudly and clearly. We're humanists. Uh, we do not talk to God. We do not pray to God. We are in charge of our lives, and there is no need to have God as the foundation of our ethical principles. That's what it is. But then we also have a whole history. Over the last 300 years, the majority of the Jewish people has been secularized. Felix Posen sponsored a survey of Jews in North America who were offered an alternative. Two words. Are you religious or secular? 47%. Is that right? 49. 49. See how conservative I am. 49% said secular. Well, that's humanistic Judaism.